On today's episode, we've got a rare update on the new Roadster from Tesla's head designer, a new Tesla design center in Beijing, Starlink burns up, the Model X ramp up disaster, and we get to the root of the ongoing heat pump issue. So let's get started. The Tesla Roadster version 2 is one of those concept cars that we all want would become a reality, but has yet to do so in the last four to five years. Hey everyone and welcome to Tesla News, where we bring you the newest and best updates about Tesla and Elon Musk. For daily videos, please consider subscribing to our channel. Since the first teaser of this electric hypercar, we've had very little in the way of updates on the vehicle, aside from Elon Musk repeatedly saying that he's going to add rocket thrusters to the car and possibly make it fly. But we did recently hear some words on the Roadster from a very valuable source, Franz von Holzenson, the chief product designer at Tesla. Franz recently made an appearance on the Spikes Car Radio podcast, where he dropped some information on the Roadster. When asked about the Roadster, he said that Tesla is still hard at work on the flagship supercar, that the company is learning a lot from the projects like the Plaid platform. We are working on the Roadster, he said. I wish we were working faster, but I have to say that in the time that we've been developing it, we've also been learning a lot, like Plaid is a great learning platform that all of these experiences will lead to a far better Roadster than if we launched immediately after we presented it. So fair enough. If Tesla had introduced the car in 2019, it seems logical that it wouldn't have been nearly as fantastic as it will be when it finally comes out. That I believe also indicates that whatever Tesla had in mind for the three motor powertrain in the 2017 Roadster concept wasn't as sophisticated as the three motor engine in the 2019 Roadster concept at least to the extent that the rules of physics permit. Of course, using an unorthodox power source like SpaceX's coal gas rocket thruster to get around some of the regulations that regulates what's feasible with a conventional vehicle is one method to get around some of the laws that govern what's possible with a conventional vehicle. And it's not only Elon Musk who thinks the Roadster with the SpaceX package will be a great, exciting flying vehicle. We can't get a product out to the public fast enough, but be assured, we're working on it nonstop. While the third dimension is difficult to manage in the case of the Roadster, I think defying gravity is an intriguing concept." End quote. Franz didn't go into any further detail, but Elon has previously stated that with the SpaceX thruster, the car would be able to go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 1.1 seconds, and possibly even make short air jumps. Before we continue, Tesla China is apparently establishing a new research and design center in Beijing, the country's capital. Tesla first proposed the notion of establishing a design center in China in 2020, stating that it would be responsible for developing international electric automobiles. Later that year, Tesla began the hiring process, encouraging anyone with an interest in cars or the design process to apply. Since then, details on the project have been scarce. For a while, we were hearing that Tesla was building a new research and development center in Shanghai, and that this was where the rumored $25,000 affordable car was being manufactured. Because Elon Musk just stated that Tesla is not working on that car, I believe we may conclude that the report was either false or more speculative than it was presented as. However, according to the Wall Street Journal, Chinese government documents suggest that a Tesla design center will be created in Beijing. This information comes from a Beijing municipal government paper outlining significant work sites in the city for the year 2022. A number of electric vehicle-related construction projects in Beijing were also highlighted in the same study, including a new automobile factory by Xiaomi, a Chinese smartphone manufacturer. Elon Musk's words at the presentation in Shanghai in early 2020, when he briefed China investors, are likewise consistent with this. We want to continue investing heavily in China and to increase our investment there. Tesla Beijing Design Center, which will open in 2020, will be the company's second design center, following the one in Los Angeles, which houses the majority of the company's designers and several engineering teams. Tesla is also planning to open a European design center in the heart of Berlin, Germany, according to Elon Musk. After being crippled in orbit by a magnetic storm, scores of Starlink satellites have returned to Earth. A geomagnetic storm in low Earth orbit, generated by an explosion of energy from the Sun, destroyed 40 of the 49 Starlink satellites launched on February 3rd. A storm like this occurs when the Earth's magnetosphere is hit by an outburst of energy from the Sun. Because these satellites were newly deployed and had not yet reached their operating height, the additional drag caused them to be pushed down. Luckily, the satellites are meant to incinerate fully as they re-enter Earth's atmosphere, so no fragments reach the ground that we know of. It appears that the debris was really seen on film burning up in the sky over Puerto Rico. It's very crazy to watch. 
while the situation isn't ideal, Elon Musk appeared unconcerned about the mishap, answering to a tweet about it with only three emojis, one of a magnet, one of a storm, and one for dead. On the plus side, the disabled satellites just fall down and burn up with no harm done, demonstrating that the Starlink failsafe strategy works in real life. These are caused by outbursts from the sun, which swings through phases of high and low activity. We're now approaching the peak activity of the 11-year cycle, which is expected to occur around 2025. This is also referred to as a solar maximum, which means that additional strong outbursts will likely hit the Earth in the coming years, perhaps killing even more small satellites in orbit. Despite the fact that the Model X was Tesla's third car after the Roadster and the Model S, Elon Musk recently indicated that the company's Model X refresh was a fiasco from which it has yet to fully recover. Since renewing the Model S and Model X in early 2021, the Model X is still proving to be a production nightmare for the company, as Elon has always claimed that the Model X is an extremely difficult automobile to construct. Only the sedan has made a significant contribution to the company's quarterly delivery rates. Tesla started shipping the Model S in July 2021, but the Model X appears to be causing them more problems. Elon Musk said on Twitter last week that Tesla, quote, dropped the ball badly regarding the new Model X production ramp and still hasn't fully recovered, and that it was idiotic to stop production of the old Model X in December 2020 when there was still plenty of demand and quote, both the Model S and Model X production lines, when there was still plenty of demand. The Fremont facility was shut down, alerting Tesla fans that something was wrong. Tesla then revealed specifics about both vehicles during its fourth quarter 2020 earnings call, revealing the two upgraded vehicle designs. Tesla buyers who ordered the Model X after the announcement of the redesign have received unusual delivery dates, despite the fact that original delivery dates were set for February 2021 by Q2. Tesla's heat pump has been causing owners of the Model 3 and Model Y some stress this winter when temperatures fell in certain parts of North America. This was only the beginning of the delays, as some Model X delivery deadlines have been pushed back as far as March 2023. Some heat pumps did not perform as expected, and there was no heat pumping. Tesla rapidly addressed the problem and published a software update that resolved the fundamental fault with the system. However, some owners are still left in the cold. Thanks to an NHTSA recall, we now know exactly what the software fix entailed. The NHTSA got involved in this circumstance because they considered the lack of windshield heating was a hazard to everyone concerned, as they seem to be doing a lot recently when it comes to things Tesla. Windshield defrost performance that does not fully comply with regulation may cause reduced windshield visibility in certain conditions, according to their statement, which could make a collision more likely. As a Canadian driver, this seems reasonable. So this was all. Add your thoughts in the comments section below. Hit the bell icon and also like, subscribe and share our channel, and stay tuned with us till our next video. We will see you soon with our next video, so be with us and go watch our Tesla Model X video on your left to see some positive aspects about it as well. Or you can also watch the newly updated Tesla Model 3 2022 on your right and learn more about the Tesla world. Thank you so much for watching.